With COVID cases rising, Honolulu Mayor Rick Blangiardi is sending a message to those who were not vaccinated, saying they are holding everyone else back. Some who have declined to get vaccinated say it's because none of the vaccines have received final approval from the FDA. They are technically experimental and are authorized only for emergency use. Blangiardi adds that we're a long way from getting past the pandemic. Manola Morales reports. The mayor also says he has no interest in rolling back to a more restrictive tier. He says that goes against his goal of putting more people back to work and reviving the economy. Honolulu's daily average of COVID cases is now at 89, with a positivity rate of 4.1 percent. Mayor Blanjardi adds that statewide vaccinations are also dropping to about 15,000 a week. This despite all the efforts that have been done to get people vaccinated. We have begged, pleaded, cajoled, and provided incentives for people to get vaccinated. There's been a lot of education out there about the safety of it. Health officials say most of the cases are those who are unvaccinated. Statewide, we are still creeping ever so slowly toward getting 60% of the population fully vaccinated. And my concern there is for all the people who have gone out, who have gotten vaccinated, who have acted responsibly to their own families and to the rest of us in trying to move forward. It's difficult to be held back like this that those people still unwilling to be vaccinated. The mayor points out that the rising number of cases holds back the efforts to get the economy back on track. The best way to do that is to reach that goal of getting 70% of the population vaccinated and have all restrictions lifted. But at this point, we are a long way from getting there. There's a lot of economics at play right now on how we stabilize our local economy. My eyes and our attention are on that issue. He adds that the surge comes at a time when the eviction moratorium is set to end on August 6th, and that could bring its own set of problems. We're dealing with those issues right now in anticipation of perhaps as many as thousands, a couple of thousand families could possibly be evicted and the consequences of that. Manolo Morales, KHON2 News, working for Hawaii.